This unreal new pickup truck will debut in 2024 and you can actually pre-order one now, today. I'll put a link in the description below. When Ram said it had a new electric vehicle pickup truck called the Rev, and it said that there would be a plug-in hybrid version, I was disappointed, but I shouldn't have been because now we know what it's actually going to be and it sounds absolutely epic. Really, it does. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. As you know, I do love pickup trucks, but yeah, they are absolutely horrendous for the environment. Electric ones, they're not awesome, but they're a hell of a lot better, a hell of a lot better than gasoline or diesel powered ones. Not only better for the environment, but they're just better for you as well to drive, to own, and they can do a hell of a lot more. I mean, put it this way. Have you seen any gasoline powered pickup trucks with the option of having a stove built into it or the option of having your your lights plugged into it or your caravan or all those, your, your tent plugged into it because it's got power? No, you don't because they don't exist. Now the Ram 1500 Rev is an absolute beast. It has 500 miles of range and 14,000 pounds of towing. And it's gonna put an end to people saying gasoline powered pickup trucks are the thing. People are gonna say, well, yeah, that's nice. You got you bought a new pickup truck, what was it? And you're gonna go, oh, I, I bought the premium top of the line Ram 1500, which model? Oh, the gasoline powered version. Ah, oh, okay. All right, well, yeah, enjoy that. I mean, it's the same as last year's model. It's the same as the model from 10 years ago, just looks a bit different. Enjoy that. I've got the electric version. That's what it's going to be like. Everyone's going to be saying, which electric truck did you get? That's how it's going to be. And that's why I think this transition will happen quicker than people think, because it will be considered the best with the best features, the best performance. Look at the timing. Look at the range. And yes, it will very legitimately compete with the Cybertruck, with the Silverado electric truck, with the F-150. Absolutely. When you think about it, this kind of range is pretty damn impressive. If you've got 500 miles of range, then yeah, you can probably tow a boat and charging speeds as well. Now, the new 2025 Ram 1500 Rev will be built on the STLA large frame. It's, to be honest, just a traditional ladder chassis pickup truck, like every other pickup truck, except for the Cybertruck. It'll be offered in two options. It's going to come in the base version with a 168 kilowatt hour battery pack with a targeted range of 350 miles. That's pretty good range. Now the longer range version will have an enormous battery pack. It's one of the biggest battery packs I've ever heard of. It's 229 kilowatt hours in size. But Ram and Stellantis are saying that model will have 500 miles of range. Ram's electric truck will be capable of towing 14,000 pounds and it'll have payloads of 2,700 pounds and 800 volt fast charging. Well, basically, let's get back to that payload and the towing. It would have better towing and better actual load carrying capacity than its current gasoline powered options or diesel powered options as well. With 800 volt ch fast charging, you can add 110 miles of range to that battery pack in 10 minutes. That is a huge step up over the F-150. The F-150 Lightning, that's a big Achilles heel. It's slow charging for the size of the pack, right? 150 kilowatt charging for the size of the pack. It means 110 miles of range added to the F-150 battery pack will take you around twice as long. Now for comparison to F-150 Lightnings, the XLT has an estimated range with the longer range battery pack of 320 miles, but that pack is much smaller. In fact, it's half the size. It's in a 131 kilowatt hour pack. Max towing for the Lightning is 10,000 pounds and it has a payload of 2,000 pounds. I think the, the towing is pretty reasonable and I think many people need to tow more than 10,000 pounds, but 2,000 pound payload is a pretty big difference compared to the 3,000 for the Ram 1500 Rev. What about the power? Well, it has around 650 horsepower total, two 250 kilowatt motors, which means two 327 horsepower motors and 620 pound feet of torque mean it'll be fast, faster than anything else Ram currently sell. It'll do zero to 62 in 4.4 seconds. 
0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 4.4 seconds. That's quicker than a Ford F-150 Raptor. That's very fast. And they're not even saying, hey, look, this is a performance model. This is just the standard model. It's that fast in standard variation. Now, the Ram F-150 will come with heaps of features to make it work really well in other ways that a gasoline-powered truck does, just doesn't work at all. Vehicle to home charging, right? Vehicle to vehicle as well, plus vehicle to grid. You got V2H, a vehicle to vehicle and vehicle to grid. It's got basically everything you could possibly need to have your own power station. If you needed to, and you want to be totally off grid, you could use this to run your house if you really wanted to. So there'll be five different models. There'll be the Tradesman, that's the cheapest version, the Bighorn, the Lone Star, the Laramie, the Limited, and the all new Tungsten. Now that sounds like six models, but that's because the Bighorn and the Lone Star somehow are the same car. Maybe it depends on what state you're in as to what they actually call it, I'm not sure. What about the interior and the exterior? Well, looking at it, I think the front looks great. It looks very similar to the current model, but it looks kind of like more streamlined, more aerodynamic, less brick-like. So that's good. That's a really good design change. I think it's good that they've kept the vehicle looking similar to the current model. It does look a little bit more car-like. It looks a bit lower to me than the current model. But anyway, Ram says it has a muscular body with fender openings stretched to cover 20 or 22-inch all-terrain tires. However, Ram did include a more modern aerodynamic design with signature fit tuning fork LED headlamps, a lit up Ram badge, and a one touch frunk with 15 cubic feet of space. So you're getting more space than the current gasoline powered version as well. You're getting a legit frunk where you can put stuff, you can, you can store your gold bars, your cocaine, you know, whatever you carry that you don't want the cops to know about. <laughs> because uh, the cops probably won't cap cotton on to the fact that they have a frunk. I just think there's an engine in there telling anyone how they should get stuff from Mexico to the US or anything like that. But no, just kidding, obviously. The point, having a frunk, it's it's pretty cool, actually. If you think about it, probably thieves wouldn't look in that area. I mean, I'm sure they'll cotton on after a while, but initially at least. New tungsten models feature a new power tailgate, a 115 volt outlet in the bed. The gasoline version doesn't have that either. And a new modern Ram badge. So, I mean, that's worth the price of entry alone, the badge. Joking, but the interior, that is fantastic. What a massive step up over the past Ram models. That interior looks phenomenal. It's the most technically advanced Ram 1500 ever. It has a host of new features, including a new 14.5 inch touchscreen with Uconnect 5, a 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster. So you've got plus, in addition to that, a 10.2 inch screen for the passenger. 10.2 inch screen passenger, 14.5 inch screen in the middle, 12.3 inch screen right in front of the driver. Three screens in the front. That's a lot of screenage. I don't know. I don't know if people will want that, but hey, you don't have to use it. You can just turn it off if you don't want it, or at least not the driver screen, but you know the passenger screen, middle screen. Probably you can probably turn those off. So I think it's good to have the option. I like it. In fact, looking at that interior, I think it might be the best looking interior of a pickup truck that I've ever seen. Seriously, can you think of something better? Now, Rams say they have a different vehicle called the 1500 Rev XR with class shattering range. I'm guessing that's probably probably the uh, plug-in hybrid version of this. And I won't be reporting on that. I just talk about EVs only on this channel. So massive battery pack. I mean, 229 kilowatt hour pack is absolutely enormous. It's not going to be cheap. The standard range model has a bigger battery pack than an F-150 Lightning it's probably going to get that real world range 350 miles i think it'll get that in the real world i think those numbers are realistic this is going to be a real real nice vehicle i'm excited for it i'm looking forward to it if they sold these in australia and i couldn't get a cyber truck and i could afford it i really would consider one of these would you let me know your thoughts do you like it love it hate it let me know in the comments my friends have a wonderful day and i'll see you again Bye bye